Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this very special class on pricing your meal planning services and programs with That Clean Life and Practice Better. My name is Evita, and I am the dietitian, and this is Tabitha with me, our senior practice success manager. We also have Emma and Marissa joining us today who will be helping you out in the chat box as well as the Q&A box. Um, so they'll be there for that backing life and practice better support. We cannot wait to get into this class. We're gonna dive into the data from a study of over 8,000 health professionals to reveal common services and price points. And we're gonna be taking a look at how to structure group programs based on practice better's top 20 course creators. If you've been to one of our webinars or classes before, you know we like to start off with some introductions. So please open up that chat box, turn your settings to everyone and say hello to us and each other. Let us know what are you most excited to learn about today? Is it about pricing your services or structuring your services and programs? Let us know what kind of the, the key information you're excited to learn about. Okay, we've already got some in the chat box, some of you are leaning towards pricing, some of you are structuring, and a lot is, is both. So that's super. We love keeping our classes interactive, and you're a big group of practitioners. So let's connect, keep that chat box flowing. And if you have any questions, please use the Q&A box. This is going to be a really valuable class. So we'll also get into the agenda for today right away. First, we will talk about structuring your meal planning services, getting into how health professionals are using meal plans in their nutrition businesses. Then we'll dive into a summary of our pricing analysis on what health professionals worldwide are charging. Next, to help you better design and optimize your group programs, we are sharing a best in class framework. And lastly, we will be showing you how that theme life can be used to create nutrition content for your services and how to use practice better to set up and deliver your program. Whether you're out live or watching the replay, please stay with us until the very end, as we have a special offer to share at the end of this class. You have all made such lovely introductions in that chat already, so I want to introduce ourselves, give you a bit of background of who we are, because we're going to be spending the next half an hour with you. My name is Evita, like I mentioned, I am the registered dietitian at Back Clean Life. I previously worked in community and acute care hospitals for several, several years, building a really strong foundation to provide evidence-based and personalized care. And during this time, I also saw the gaps in health and nutrition technology. So this is what really led me to my work at That Clean Life, providing nutrition software that makes it easy for health practitioners and nutrition practitioners like yourself to deliver that personalized nutrition guidance to your clients in a streamlined and easily customized way. The end goal for all of us is happy, successful clients. And I am so excited to be here with you today to show you how you can incorporate nutrition plans planning into your practice to help your clients reach their health goals with actionable resources and to ultimately grow your nutrition business. And as I mentioned, my lovely co-host today is Tabitha. Hey everyone, I'm the Senior uh, Practice Success Manager here at That Clean Life and Practice Better. I'm a certified health coach and I have worked with clients in the past to help heal their relationship with food. I also ran numerous corporate workshops somewhere in the east end of downtown for elementary schools, in the banks in downtown Toronto. Been really grateful for my work there. Okay, we are going to turn our cameras off so we can focus on the lesson. There we go. That way you get a full screen there. Um, let's go ahead and pop in to the next slide. All right. So market research is an important part of setting your prices. It helps you understand the market value and what your peers are charging for their meal planning services. To save time with your market research and help you confidently set your prices, we have analyzed the pricing from over 8,000 health professionals using a simple random sample of that clean life and practice better practitioners. We aren't saying that this is what you should charge, but rather we've gathered the data for you to inform your pricing decisions. And we hope that this is helpful for you. 
Our sample included various nutrition-focused health professionals, including dietitians, holistic nutritionists, naturopathic doctors, health coaches, and more from all over the world uh, with varying experience levels. We analyzed pricing data from health professionals worldwide and prices that were displayed in several currencies, as you can imagine, uh, we do serve a worldwide base. So for our analysis, we did convert all of these prices to US dollars. We will be diving deeper into um, one service specifically, programs. So to help you better design and optimize your programs, we analyze the characteristics of the average program according to the top 20 course creators by revenue and clients on Practice Better. We want to help you benchmark your program against others that have been really successful. You know, the goal here is to create and sell a program for the maximum amount of money while servicing your clients. So we're here to help. We're going to go through quite a few numbers and examples today. So I wanna preface this by saying, don't worry, you don't need to write all of this down. We do have two downloadable guides that we will be sharing with you in this class and in the replay email. So stay tuned for those um, guides and that will relieve the pressure. You can pay attention during class and you can ask questions as needed in the Q&A. All right, Avita, over to you to kick off this class with structuring and pricing your meal planning services. Super, let's get started with the most common ways to incorporate meal planning and nutrition planning into your practice. Because of course, before setting your prices, let's define the types of services that you can offer. Throughout our analysis, we discovered that meal plans were incorporated into health professionals, services, and programs in a variety of ways. You can incorporate this into your practice by including it into your one-on-one -on -one services. Think of those as your initial, your follow-up nutrition consults, and your one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching packages. You can offer custom or personalized meal planning as an add-on service. You can create meal, a meal planning subscription site and incorporate it into add-on nutrition services like a grocery store tour, pantry makeover, a cooking class, workshop, or webinar. You can sell it as a digital nutrition resource, like a recipe book or pre-made meal plan. And over the past year, we've seen online nutrition courses become an even more popular service amongst nutrition professionals. Lastly, you can incorporate it into your group nutrition programs, which we're going to again dive into a little bit further. So let's get into the pricing of each service, starting with those one on one services. If you offer one on one coaching, an initial consultation is a really valuable way for a client to start working with you. The price of an initial consult varies based on how long the consult is, and we found that initial consults are typically 60 to 90 minutes long. The average price here is 240 US dollars and 540 dollars US dollars on the high end. Follow up consults range from 30 to 60 minutes in length. The average price here is about $90 and on the high end, $200. Some practitioners also offer shorter 15 minute check in consults priced at around $40 on average. Some practitioners package their initial consultation with a follow up consult or a custom meal plan. For initial nutrition consultation packaged with the follow up consult, the average price is $280 and up to $750 at the high end. And when the initial consult was packaged with a custom meal plan, the average price here is $300 US dollars and up to $615 at the high end. Many health and wellness professionals offer personalized meal planning as an add on service to their one on one coaching. This is key to helping individuals meet their health and performance goals. The average price of a one week customized meal plan is $115 and this goes all the way up to $395. We also notice practitioners offering custom meal plans as a package deal. So for example, two to four weeks worth of customized meal plans 
On average, health professionals are charging $200 for a set of four meal plans, but we saw this price go all the way up to $450. And for a five to eight week custom plan, the average price is $340 and up to $780 at the high end. Professionals who offer meal planning for highly restrictive diets, medical conditions, or individual food sensitivity results tend to charge more. And professionals who offer basic meal plans for clients looking to generally eat healthier tend to charge less. So if you're seeing these huge, you know, these, these quite, quite large differences in the pricing, this can help you clue. It depends on like how specific your niche is and what's included in that custom meal plan. Over the last year, we've seen a significant increase in health professionals offering coaching packages instead of one-off consultations. These packages are really a great way to encourage a long-term relationship with clients because it takes time to, to you know, see results with clients. So the most common type of nutrition package offered was the three to six month commitment with an average price of $1,125 and up to $7,500 at the high end. A seven to 12 month program had an average price of $6,000 and up to $11,000 at the high end. Some practitioners bundle their sessions into a certain number, like an initial consult with two to four follow-up consults for an average price of $450 and up to $1,800 at the high end. Some offered a monthly one-on-one -on -one nutrition consultation package for $340 per month and up to $1,100 per month at the high end. And then for follow-up consults, instead of offering these off these as like one-off consults, we saw a huge increase in the last year of practitioners actually offering these as a package, typically six to eight consults for an average price of $580 and up to $3,000 at the high end. Okay, next, I love this idea of a meal planning subscription service. Let us know in the chat if you have a meal planning subscription service or maybe you're thinking of starting one. Think of the meal planning subscription service as giving clients access to ready to for ready to use meal plans and recipes. It allows past clients to continue working with the practitioner more informally. It's also just a great low cost way for potential clients to get to know the practitioner. A one year meal planning subscription service was the most common offering that we found in our analysis. A one year meal planning subscription service was priced for an for an average of $360 for the year and up to 1400 per year on the higher end. The subscription price varies depending on the number of meal plans clients receive every month with their membership and other perks offered such as coaching calls a private Facebook group or at home workouts. Next, offering services like grocery store tours, pantry makeovers, cooking classes, workshops, and webinars. They're just a fun, interactive, and practical way to teach clients about nutrition at a lower cost. Let us know in the chat as well if any of you are offering any of these services. We would love to hear because they're services that are often forgotten about, but they are such great ways to, to offer those low cost services. So grocery store tours priced between $25 all the way up to 300. Pantry makeovers priced between 35 to $500. Cooking class average between 40 to 460 and workshops between 20 to 450 US dollars. Professionals who offer an in-person pantry makeover, cooking class, or workshop charge more than those who offer the virtual option. So when you're seeing this difference, think about that too, if whether you're doing this in person or virtually. And webinars, they're more they're often like pre-recorded, which automates that education piece and is something that the practitioner can continue to sell repeatedly. So these are priced between $20 to $450. 
Now let's get into other online offerings like digital nutrition resources, which are available for instant download. For example, recipe books and meal plans. This is a simple way to offer valuable resources to anyone who visits your website, including current clients and potential clients. An important note is that these are not customized plans or recipe books. They are all pre-made and customers receive, all customers receive the same download. Non-customized meal plans are selling on average for $20 to $225 on that higher end. And some professionals also offer recipe books for download. So no meal plan, just recipes. And the price range on this is $20 on average, all the way up to $225. Again, typically professionals who are working with a specific condition are charging more. And the price also depended on the size of the recipe book and meal plan or how much was included with it. Most meal plans were 7, 14 or 28 days in length and recipe books contained on average 20 to 50 recipes. All right, so let's talk about online nutrition courses now, because I mentioned we saw a spike in these being offered, which is very cool. An online course takes the information you would typically teach a client one on one, and it makes it into and puts it into an online platform where clients can work through it at their own pace. So it's going to reduce practitioner burnout and help increase your revenue. The most common length for an online course is four weeks with an average price of $520 and on the higher end, $3,000. And the last service I want to highlight is group programs. So offering a group program allows health professionals to work with multiple clients at once. This allows them to help more people and boost their income without spending more time. The length of group programs varies on the end goal for the client. Most group nutrition programs we analyzed were between four, to four weeks to six months in length. The one to three month group nutrition programs are priced at $250 on average and $5,500 on the higher end. And the four to six month programs are priced at $850 on average and $7,500 on the higher end. Corporate wellness initiatives and programs incorporating individualized lab testing and meal plans for each participant contributed to the increased cost of the program. So again, if you're looking at that range, that's what's happening. I know I covered a lot of information on pricing. We've also got some folks in the chat box saying like, where's where am I going to find this information? Where can I write it down? Uh, don't worry, like Tabitha mentioned, we have this summarized in a downloadable handbook that you can check out at thatcleanlife.com forward slash pricing hyphen handbook or by using this QR code up on the screen right now. So you can pull out your phone, uh, open up the camera and it will take you to that handbook. All right, over to you, Tabitha, to go deeper into group programs and what it looks like to put together a best in class program. Thanks so much, Vita. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's talk about group programs. Creating a program is exciting, but sometimes knowing where to begin is the hardest part. We want to help you benchmark your program against others that have been successful. As I mentioned, the goal is to create and sell a program for a maximum amount of money and deliver real-time value to your clients. So we evaluated, evaluated some real-life examples within our Practice Better Creators. As you set out to create your program, consider this framework. And I know there's a large variance in both the pricing numbers and the numbers we're about to present. So just be sure to pay attention to the means and then um, we'll get into the details later on. One of the first questions when creating a program will be how long it should be. Note that this is only relevant to fixed date programs, which stop and start at a defined time. Unlike evergreen programs, which provide ongoing value to customers and are not necessarily tied to specific dates or events. So the optimal program length for the most success for the most success is a minimum of 30 days and a maximum of 730 days. So the average here was 230 days. So this shows us that the most successful creators have longer programs. You know, some of them have stretched over two years, kind of wild. 
The next big question you're probably asking is how many modules I should include in my program. Now, of course, this partly depends on the length of the program, how much content you have, et cetera. But the data from our top 20 creators shows that the minimum is zero modules, meaning that someone likely created a course and then they didn't split up the content into modules, which is totally fine. And then a maximum of 71 modules. The mean was 18 modules. Next up, adding videos. So according to our top 20 creators, the minimum amount of videos needed is zero. Of this comes to as no surprise, you know, um, sometimes content if programs have video content, sometimes they don't. The maximum amount of videos was actually 41, but the average is two. So you can see that these numbers vary greatly. That's because one creator really leaned into video in their program as that's their strong suit, whereas others either use just a few, maybe like an introduction video, et cetera, or none at all. It's important to note that you don't have to incorporate videos to be successful, successful, even if it's not, sorry, I should say, especially if it's not your zone of genius or it doesn't lend to your program content. Another important factor in program creation is whether you're going to use forms. They might be um, used to obtain initial information about the client, to check in, or even to measure success. We make accessing and using forms very simple at Practice Better. So according to our research, the minimum amount of forms used in a program was zero, but the maximum was 13 forms, and the average was two. So many course creators have had a sprinkle of forms along the way during their course. These are likely at the beginning to help clients set goals and also to learn more about each individual. Somewhere in the middle, can, there can also be a form used to check in on their progress, see where they're at with the program. And then at the end is always a great place for a form as well to measure overall feedback, success, and understand um, how the program was received. As practitioners, we know that having tasks on our to-do list can be so helpful to stay us, stay, help us stay on track towards our targets. And the same goes for clients working their way through your program. But a great question is how many tasks should you assign to them? The programs from our top creators incorporated a minimum of zero tasks for their clients. The maximum number of tasks was 60, with an average of 12.5 tasks assigned to program participants. So creating task templates and automating tasks means your clients can be engaged as soon as they purchase your program. Uh, maybe the task is something like checking in um, or filling out the group chat, or perhaps it's an automated reminder to help them fill out a progress tracking form. Maybe it's an encouragement for them to eat an apple for their health or go grab a glass of water. The choice is really yours and you can get creative. And this is really easily done inside of Practice Better. And then we've got the number of PDFs used. No surprise here, the minimum is zero, but the um, maximum was 31 and the mean was seven. So PDFs can be useful for clients to save information or assignments for extra practice for later. They can also require additional time to prepare. So you might be wondering if it's worth it. And it's not necessary to include PDFs, but if it does assist your um, program, then it's always a great idea. Now we're talking about protocols here, protocols and programs. So protocols are actually a really great tool for helping clients get from A to B with your guidance. They allow you to communicate everything your client needs to implement to reach their goals, including things like nutrition plans, supplement recommendations, lifestyle recommendations, and more. You might be wondering whether you should incorporate protocols into your program as well. The minimum number of protocols used was zero and the maximum was 17 with the average of only one. Only a handful of top course creators have a protocol or two in their programs, but there is one creator who actually has a lot, 17 to be exact, which we thought was super interesting. It's also important to know that experienced practitioners have gone into Practice Better and created a series of protocols saved inside there. 
so that they are based on their time treating clients. They've used their expertise over time of seeing client after client to create these protocols that generally fit their niche. And that allows them to lean on these and attach them to their programs as needed. So if you have protocols already set up and practice better that you regularly share with clients, you can easily add them to a software, uh, to a program module. Um, this is actually the beauty of having your entire course content inside of your EHR software. So we highly recommend that. And just like the pricing handbook, you can download our guide on the anatomy of a profitable program by scanning the QR code right here, right now. Um, we've also got our lovely assistants that'll pop a, a link into the chat here um, because it's a little bit longer than, um, than the, that Clean Life one. So you can either scan the QR code here um, or you can visit the link inside of the chat box to access all of the information inside of a downloadable PDF for the anatomy of a profitable program. Okay, now you might be wondering how you're going to put together and sell your meal planning services and programs. So we wanna take the last bit of our time to walk you through two tools that will make creating and running your services and group programs a breeze. Using That Clean Life and Practice Better, you can create, set up and run your services and programs from start to finish. So let's quickly touch on that, which uh, we can review what each of these tools allow you to do. So I'm gonna pass it back over to Avita and she'll introduce That Clean Life first. Thanks Tabitha. Yes, That Clean Life is a nutrition planning software for high performance health professionals, just like everyone who is joining us today. That Clean Life makes it possible to provide the right nutrition plan for the right client in the right way with ease, helping you to elevate your client experience, make your clients more successful, and of course, grow your business. All the services we discussed today, That Clean Life helps you create nutrition related content for these. Your one-on-one -on -one services, online courses, digital downloads, add-on services, meal planning subscription, and group programs. Remember, That Clean Life can help you take back your time that you would otherwise have to spend creating these from scratch. You can create weekly meal plans with itemized shopping lists, recipes, prep guides, and evidence. You can also make recipe books and meal planning guides and really deliver a fun and interactive experience to your clients. That Clean Life will save you from having to hire a recipe developer, a food photographer, recipe testing, spend, or maybe even spending hours on Google trying to find the right recipes that you don't even have the rights to republish. Working with a graphic designer, adding up grocery lists and crunching numbers, trying to keep plans balanced. That is all a lot of time, a lot of work, and in the end, a lot of money. So we take care of all of this for you with our over 6,200 recipes and counting. We add new recipes to our database weekly. You get access to over 140 done for you pre-made plans. So you have resources at your fingertips ready to go. These are plans offered for different dietary needs and medical conditions or specific client needs. We offer automation so that you can easily generate meal plans based on calories, macronutrients, or dietary types. Everything you create is super easy to share with clients, whether you do that through a shared link or a PDF document. And we are thrilled to announce that That Clean Life now integrates with Practice Better, which means you can embed That Clean Life meal plans, collections, or recipes into any client protocol or program to increase client success, engagement, and compliance. So this will really take your guidance within Practice Better to an all new professional level that clients will love. Tabitha, over to you to talk about what health practitioners can do with Practice Better. Thanks so much. So Practice Better is practice management software for health professionals. We help practitioners say goodbye to a patchwork of systems and hello to streamlined workflows that allow you to grow, scale, and serve your clients better. When we say a patchwork of systems, we're referring to using multiple pieces of software or tools and expecting them to work seamlessly together. It's one of the most exhausting parts about trying to build your nutrition business. Practice Better was intentionally designed specifically for health and wellness practitioners. And we've got it all in one place to run all aspects of their business from booking, billing, form delivery, 
hosting client sessions, client care, running group programs, chat sessions, and more. And Practice Better is a comprehensive tool that allows you to run all aspects of your business. We're talking about how to set up and run your nutrition program, how to create fixed date or self-paced or evergreen programs, how to create modules and to organize your program content, how to handle the logistics of signups and payments. Spoiler alert, Practice Better makes it super seamless by keeping everything in one place. Um, you can also create a sense of community amongst your program participants, which is so huge to creating raving fans and directly integrate nutrition plans and protocols directly into your program within the module content. So between that clean life and practice better, we have all the tools you need to make creating and running your meal planning services and programs easy. If you are already a user of Practice Better and That Clean Life, then you are all set. You can log in to start incorporating meal plans into your services and into your programs. But if you aren't yet using Practice Better or That Clean Life, we have a special offer for new customers that will make it easy for you to get started. So at That Clean Life, we have two monthly membership options and we have a yearly membership. For Practice Better, we have several different plans designed to grow with your practice. To create and run programs, you would need the PLUS plan. And now for that offer. If you're looking to try Practice Better, we have a special offer. You can try it for free for 14 days and then enjoy 20% off your first four months. Simply head to our pricing page at practicebetter.io forward slash pricing and use the code STARTNOW20 at checkout to have the offer applied. This offers for new customers and it expires this Friday, April 26th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. And for those of you looking to try That Clean Life, you can get 20% off That Clean Life's plus yearly plan for your first year. This means you pay just $480 for a full year of That Clean Life, which works out to only $40 per month. So to claim this offer, you can use the special discount link that I'll put in the chat right now. In just a moment, I'll also have a QR code up to make it easy for you to capture if you have your phone out. And don't worry, you can also find this link and these codes in the replay email that will be sent to you after the live class. Again, this offer as well is open to new customers and it expires this Friday, April 26 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. So the QR code is now up to access that Clean Life's bonus offer. Keeping in mind, these two offers do expire this Friday, so make sure you cash in on them quickly. For Practice Better, use code STARTNOW20 when signing up to get 20% off your first four months. And for That Clean Life, you can use the discount, load, a discount link found in the chat or in the replay email or in that QR code up on the screen. Um, both offers open to new customers and both offers expire this Friday, April 26th. If you have questions about our membership options, I'm also going to pop our emails up on the screen right now because we are going to be heading into the Q&A very soon. But if anyone has to head out, you can't stay with us for the Q&A or maybe you're watching that replay, you can email us at hello at thatcleanlife.com or help at practicebetter.io. We'd love to hear from you and continue this conversation. We're going to head into the Q&A, but I just want to say thank you to everyone who has joined us live today. And if you have to head out, send us an email right after.